and uh, we're live. There's the red button. Yay! <laughs> ding, 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 ding. How are you guys? Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Tea Talk with Gina. Gina and MJ. How are you guys? MJ How are you doing and today, Gina. Gina. On this beautiful Thursday. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm doing well. Um, you know, we were just talking in the background about something that happened today, and I said everything works out the way it's supposed to. So, um, yeah. But this this tea talk, this Ooh, tea talk. We got a special guest, and she's front and center because she don't sit in the back. Okay, That's today right. is all about Mary because there is something super special about Mary. And we are going to tell you what we feel is special and how she's brought us to life in our lives. Okay, so I'm going to let Gina begin. Gina, we are talking <laughs> about the most. Uh, hello, I have to give me a moment first before I let her talk. I have to prompt this up. We are talking about the most, and I am excited about this because this woman put together the most amazing tea blend. And when I tell you I've been putting a fire under her ass, ooh, I've been putting a fire, just like the sage burning, I've been putting a fire. T, when I'm gonna have your tea, when I'm G, when I'm gonna have your tea, G, when I, and finally, ladies and gentlemen, ships around the world, I need to tell you, this Mary Magdalene blend that this woman created is heavenly it is heavenly she has it is the essence of mary magdalene so with no further ado i want to know why gina why you made this amazing tea okay so um you know today was supposed to be all about chives and we'll talk about chives afterwards but um we decided to shift things around a bit because like mj said i created this mary magdalene tea blend finally my, the first of you know this is not the first team that i've created i've created many but this is the first one i've launched and i actually launched it on mary magdalene day so that was also extra special but recently i had the the privilege let's put it that way of undergoing a journey with mary over is this a whole month wasn't it a whole month yeah it was a whole month of working and with mary magdalene and let me tell you, um, if you have never worked with Mary Magdalene before, you're in for a um, a trip. <laughs> Let's just put yeah. it that way. You have to be prepared to undergo a journey with Mary Magdalene. But um, I found this this little thing online earlier, and I want to I want to read it because I think this embodies Mary Magdalene so well. She is the mistress of the awakened heart. She is the devotee of pure, exalted devotion. She is the midwife to our individual soul's authentic remembrance. And that part right there got me because, you know, when you're working with Mary Magdalene energy, yeah, you remember some stuff and you have to work through some things. <laughs> she, she is a doula of death, grief, and sorrow. And she is the apostle to the apostles. That is an official title that was given to her. Okay, she also communicates with angels and spirits. She communicated with angels and spirits. And it was written that at the crucifixion of Jesus, she wept two tears and roses sprung up, which is why we tend to associate roses with Mary Magdalene. So if you did not know about that and did not That's know that That's cute. Story, <laughs> that is a cute story. But Mary yes. goes back. I'm going to tell you, that one is a cute story. That is a, a, right. one of those myths. Mary's bloodline goes way right. back. We're talking yes. her line. Follow that line back to Isis. Well, I want yes. you to follow. And then once you get to Isis, keep going. This is what yes. Mary is. So did you finish she reading that? Old. I want to read. I have a passage I want to read from you from one of my favorite. And it's all about the same thing you did. I, I love how we're on the same path when we got quotes from Mary. Um, <laughs> Gina and I'm so excited. So we're energetic today. I want you to know that Gina and I are super excited. And she is my sister in arms. And I'm so proud of her. So I'm ex this joy that I have is for her. I'm so happy Thank for her on this day. And I'm so jo joyful that Mary made an impact on her. So I'm going to read what Mary is to me. Give me a second. And this is a reflection of Mary Magdalene. She flows through the universal heart like a mighty river, flows through the earth, 
She flows through our hearts, through our dreams. She invites us into her great ocean of love. To me, Mary Magdalene is not solely a biblical figure. Rather, she is the modern day goddess who holds a most sacred and ancient wisdom, organic and tactful, and deeply connected to our beautiful planet. Magdalene lives internally through present day women, and she will no doubt to continue to be a source of inspiration for women in generations to come. Her wisdom is beyond words, images, or concepts. She is an archetype spirit, soft and gentle, yet strong and unswayable. Magdalene stands firmly in her truth, representing strength and dignity. She assists in the elevation in the status of women around the globe and helps free both men and women from the closed-minded sets that have kept the true beauty, wisdom, and creativity of essence of a female spirit from fully emerging. Mary Magdalene's energy feels distinctively different from Mother Mary. I would not describe Magdalene energy as maternal, for she is not maternal. She is the divine. She appears dark and mysterious, partly hidden in view, but her silver moonline shining through the clouds of a dark night. She is the goddess that comes to heal you. She stands proudly, regardless of what others think of her and how they choose to label her. For centuries, there have been many who sought to diminish her and still she stands. Magdalene represents different things to different people. The following passage is what she, need, she needs you to know. Magdalene is the dancing dark goddess of gentle strength and authority, Vera of infinite compassion. She is the healer of the wounded feminine, healing the desolate places of the heart, where the lie where lie the issues of abandonment and betrayal, which all women carry. She holds us up to the mirror of their true nature in which they will themselves reflect all their beauty and power back. Mary is in you. That passage comes from Mary Magdalene. It's an oracle deck that was written in honor of her. And that is one of my favorite lines to, to know Mary is more Let's go out of the church. And I respect everyone to the church because Mary, that's where I first met Mary. But keep going with Mary. Open a rabbit hole and really go deep and you will find the amazingness and the healing powers of this magical medicine woman that stands before us. And if you journey with her today, the blessings that you will receive because the message Gina can tell you that she has for you <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so when I, when I actually created this, and I'm going to go into the ingredients in a minute. When I actually created this, there were a couple of names that also popped in. Because when I went to um, when I went to have a package and everything, I said, you know, this blend could also be called like shapeshifter because I get that kind of energy from from Mary Magdalene as well. But I, it could also be called Four Corners of the Moon because it's that <laughs> same kind of energy in our group, right? So I have both of those written down, Shapeshifter and Four Corners of the Moon. But um, ultimately, I created this um, after my journey with Mary, with Mary Magdalene. And um, for me, it was, she wasn't necessarily, I wouldn't say a nurturer, but at times she was you know, she, she would come to me in kind of a, a soft manner to kind of introduce herself. But then after a while, it was, you know, this girl, you, I, 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 I know, you know, that's not what I meant. I know, you know, better than that. So it was like this extreme over here and then, oh, you know, this over here. So the, the ingredients that I put in here kind of embody both you know, both kind of extremes of the end of that energy of what I experienced during during my journey with Mary Magdalene. So for me, um, 
this particular blend is uh, is a type of al it's alchemy i mean it literally is alchemy it's it is <laughs> it's love it is. It's lust it's passion it's creativity um there's a, a hint of relaxation in there because she mayor magdalene has that tendency to kind of get you to that place where you're working on certain things and you feel kind of relaxed about it and then she was like hits you with something else right um, <laughs> so that's the that's the kind of feel i got from her i mean she 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 could be nice but at time but for, for the most part she was this priestess that just really wanted you to deal with your crap already right. let's just deal with it and you know release it and move on <laughs> oh i have so. another picture of her i'm going to bring my other statue because she just looked at me and she said how dare you how dare you so hello as you're popping in please say hi i know a couple of people are watching um yeah. so the ingredients let me show you i do have um some already food right here so it has like a deep rich purple i don't know if you can see that and the purple is uh is a symbol is a color of royalty so i said mm. she has to have <laughs> that color in there but i'm going to show you later on why i feel that she has that shape-shifting element as well um and that's why i incorporated that into this blend so the ingredients can i just are say something hold on before yeah. you go to that i'd like to talk to you about your shape-shifting because i feel you hit the nail on the hammer on the nail i really do because she what she really is and what people see her as is two different things and when she shifts into who she was and you saw her for her reality isn't it like a different thing now we're not talking she's shape-shifting into a dog she's shape-shifting into no. energy guys we are energy workers and we shift the energy and that's what mary does she's a shifter of energy so when gina says a shapeshifter, she's changing energy. So you could see her as a dragon. Could you see that? It just depends yeah. on what your eyes are seeing. So please take in mind, yes, she's talking that her energy can shift and be whatever yeah. it is that you need to see. That's Mary. Absolutely, yes. So the ingredients in this are lemon balm, rose hips, rose petals, because we absolutely cannot have a tea without roses in it. Not related to Mary Magdalene. <laughs> Has to have <laughs> rose, rose, roses in there. There's orange peel, chasteberry, mango, and I'm going to go into that a little bit. Uh, lemongrass, shadowberry, butterfly pea flower, raspberry leaf, and elderberry. We have Wanda watching. Hi, Wanda. Hi, Wanda. So, How are you, um, Mama? Those are the ingredients. Now, I'm not going to talk so much about. Um, the medicinal benefits because for me this is more of an energetic um blend although it's loaded with all kinds of medicinal benefits okay so lemon balm for me is uh in for this embodies like the crown chakra and if you're not familiar with that i'm basically talking about your mind you know your your head up here so the crown chakra also the solar plexus where which is where mm -hmm. your digestive system is Right, um, that whole and connect it and connect it, connect it because you know yes. it. It's that circle. It's connecting them. You literally, we can root, sacral, right. third eye, crown, root, and when you connect them together, you're flowing the energy. I want you to know right. your crown, what she's talking, and your root. You can connect the energies and flow to one yes. solid energy. We're not crazy. We know what we're talking about. If you flow that energy in the circle. You're going to feel different in your body. So connect yes. the energy, guys. Yes. yes. Anna is here. Hello, Anna. Hola, Anna. Who's uh, Anna? So, so lemon balm has been known to be very relaxing, but it's also associated with love and success and longevity and healing. And in the past, it's been referred to as the elixir of life. That's lemon balm, right? And it's been... um worked with for centuries for centuries for centuries back in the day it was actually um i don't know if you're familiar with pliny the elder you can look him up do a little bit of research but he did an experiment where he rubbed um some lemon balm you know kind of squished it up in his hands and rubbed it over a new hive that he started right because he wanted to bring bees in and he rubbed so he rubbed a bunch of lemon balm over the the new hive and bees started flowing in and filling up the hive. So it was very, it's very seductive to bees. So 
can you imagine what it would do to you know things like that? <laughs> so, yeah so lemon balm again it on it on its own kind of embodies that very relaxing on one end but on the other end gets all of that other energy flowing right in the eighth century charlemagne who was a monk he actually ordered lemon balm to be planted in all of the monasteries because he realized just how calming lemon balm was so but he also so we have that again calming on one one end and enticing on the other and did you know that thomas jefferson also had it planted in his garden and he planted it to again attract bees as well as to make himself some tea and he used it in making potpourri as well um lemon balm was known like you know called the elixir of life and louis the 14th you know the king louis the 14th he had a doctor who actually believed that it was the elixir of life and he tried it out because louis the 14th apparently had a chicken that had stopped laying eggs because it got kind of old so he tested it out on this chicken and he fed the chicken lemon balm um in kind of a like a poultice form over a period of a few days and lo and behold the chicken now don't quote me on the accuracy of the story but apparently over the next few days um of feeding this chicken then the chicken started to grow new feathers and actually started to lay eggs again so there's a lot of you know magic to this lemon balm and that's it's in here there's also you know the both sides of this so that's lemon balm so let's, let's go one by one let's go one by one and then let's do the spiritual so for the okay. spiritual part of lemon balm please know that lemon balm is a feminine energy okay and it, it is it deals with the planet the moon and neptune so look at the energy it's a shadowy kind of energy it's that sensual kind of dark energy and it is a water source it's the element is water all right not only is it about love it's fertility it's happiness it's release it's success and it's emotional so you can burn some lemon balm when you need to release it when you need to release something from your life or you want to call in that fertility so say i want to have a baby or i want to have some love i'm going to burn the energy okay now if you take lemon balm and you wash your hands with the lemon balm tea it actually helps calling in your psychic abilities so, and back in the day, we're talking when the palm readers were out there, they would actually wash their hands with lemon balm because it was, it meant that it called in the magic for them and it made their hands activate. Like what we do with Reiki now, where we say activate, they would wash their hands with lemon balm. So know that this is an actually, and it repels bugs. So a lot of yes. have it, and this is one of many that repel bugs. So this, this right here is a very good lemon right here in itself changes your energy flow and we're talking about scents smelling the lemon changes your whole sentence so say you're having a bad day say something went wrong say you're upset this is a one say you're feeling depressed this is lemon balm is really good to inhale and in 15 seconds it'll change your whole outlook on things so this is really special and i want you guys to know that and for me I picked lemon balm and lemon balm, the crystal that I associated was the moonstone because moonstone is all about that moon energy coming down. But lemon balm has that, you know how moonstone sparkles with those rainbows inside mm -hmm. and gives you that energy of renewal and sexuality. That's what that was for me. Okay. Okay. Um, so for those of you who are, if you're just coming in, we're not focusing so much on uh, like the medicinal benefits because we've done we've talked about that in previous videos so i'm going to go through and link those videos for you but i wanted to go through and you know kind of give you the energetic background as to why i put certain you know these certain ingredients together for this tea and bag. fun facts man and fun facts you're gonna learn these facts, stuff that exactly. we know wouldn't you rather know these things and say oh my god i need to have something with all these amazing qualities in it you know yes. so let's go next one girl okay so rose hip is the next one and we know the rose hip is actually the fruit of the roses so once mm -hmm. all once the bloom has fallen off there's that little bud that's left underneath that's called the rose hip right and that's associated with the with the heart chakra 
And that's all about luck and good fortune and love and health, self-love, right? Which is huge when it comes to, um, to Mary Magdalene energy as well. It's uh, Rose Hip is also about money and prosperity, beauty and truth. And MJ mentioned that earlier. So the Rose Hip is in there for, for these particular energies. Is that what you got? Is that it? Rose that's hip? that's for rose okay okay so for my part i want you to know that once again rose hip is part of the rose and that's a feminine energy okay it is associated with of course the planet venus so if you want to work with the planet venus remember it's friday friday you can call in energy from venus using the rose hip i want you to know that burn a candle put some on a candle or just light it up now Rose hip is the element of water well. So there's two. So far we have two water elements and that's flow. What does water do? It flows. So you want to flow. So it's love, psychic power, divination, protection. And it's what she said. This is one of the most powerful ones. And for me, rhodochrosite, because it's about self-love, self-compassion. When you love yourself, you can love others. But when you're trying to call in love, if you can't say to yourself, I love me, how do you want someone else to love you? And that's right. what this is. Rhoda Crochet is a stone of compassion. So you can learn to love yourself and everything about you. So that way you open yourself to loving others. And of course, the next one is rose, the rose petals. Like, you know, I said, you cannot create a Mary Magdalene tea and omit rose petals because that is the, the rose is the embodiment of Mary Magdalene for me. And again, that's the, the heart chakra for me. So the rose, um, I had a, 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 a DYK, did you know that, you know, Mary Magdalene was associated with the rose? And there is actually a rose called the Mary Magdalene rose. Did you know that? Mm -hmm. Yes. So that's absolutely beautiful. Um, I now, accept my birthday month this month. I'll take Mary Magdalene roses any day of the week and twice on Sunday. <laughs> uh, so, um, you know, the rose petals, simply put, they're loaded with vitamin C, but we associate the rose with, with love, right? That is, you know, come Valentine's Day, that's probably the most sold flower of all time. Right. So that's um that that's the my main reason for putting in the rose because it is the embodiment of Mary Magdalene energy. Everything about Mary Magdalene for me is the rose. Hey Gina, did you know that Aphrodite would use rose petals and she would line her temple with them and her water with them? Okay. And it helped her with her clairvoyance gifts. She said when she would lie herself in a bed of rose petals, she felt an ability to connect more with spirit and she felt more compassion in her life. Did you know that? I did not know that, but I can see why, because the rose, I mean, any rose that you smell, it's intoxicating. It's hypnotic. That's why they say, you know, stop and smell the roses because it allows you to really connect. It takes your mind out of everything else. I can see. <laughs> I love how you said intoxicating because one thing that they found proven is that by it helps remove toxins from the body. So when you bathe in rose, rose oils or you smell a rose, you are helping your body release toxins that it don't need. So look how powerful the rose is. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And your your crystal for, for rose. Oh, well, let's go because we're going with the pink. I'm a rose cord. Yes, absolutely. Because it's all about the love. And remember, when it comes to love, there's two stones that are really connected with the heart chakra. One would, would be the pink and all the rose quartz, the rhodochrosite, rhodonite. These are all crystals with love. Oracle, oh, look at it. Pink aura crystal. Look at this. These are all. And then also are the green crystals, okay? The green crystals are associated because most of the time, on Reiki, you'll see that the heart chakra is green and not pink, but mm -hmm. it is pink is the color of the heart, guys. So that's what I have for that. Yes. All right. So the next one is orange peel. Orange peel is associated with prosperity, and it also helps to connect us with what's important. And to me, that's an energy that I <laughs> got from Mary Magdalene when I was working with her. You, I really had to dig deep into some stuff that, you know, I 
would have preferred to just leave suppressed. But she was like, uh, no, girl, that is something you need to deal with if you expect to move forward in your spiritual life. You can't haul all of this junk forward all the time with you, right? You've got to release some of that baggage. So she kind of helped me. I'm proud of Gina because she did that. Every week, yes. I want to stop her because every week we did journey. This is um, what we did with, with we in our group. I have a group called the Four Corners, and my co compadre is Cecilia Gonzalez, and we share this amazing group and have it's a very it's a closed group, and all we do is journey. And um, I'm the queen of shadow work. I love to take people down shadow work because you're like, oh, scary. But no, guess what? We went down with Mary Magdalene, right, Gina? And wasn't it beautiful? And every work. Every week she helped us take a layer off of ourselves that we didn't need so we could be the medicine woman that we are today. And that's the journey we took. And I wanna tell you, I'm just so proud of you, Gina, and this tea and all the work you did with Mary. You allowed, you allowed her to work with you through the whole month and she didn't stop there. She continued to work with you as today mm -hmm. she does. And I'm so happy that she did and she connected with you. This is just a blessing. Thank you. Thank you. It was it was a journey. I, I, it, it was a tough one. Don't get me wrong here. <laughs> but it, yes, it, it's definitely, definitely a journey that I'm really glad I did. Really glad I did because I. Yeah, you when you're when you come face to face with junk, you've been hauling around for forever and that gets released and you realize just how much lighter you are and you think, well, I should have dealt with that a long time ago. But, you know. Um, and like, again, in that Mary Magdalene energy, she's like, yeah, girl, you should have, but you know what? You're doing it now. So she has, that's again, it. That. <laughs> so that's it. It was right yeah. here, right now. The time was now. And that's why we do this. That's why the red yeah. tent, that's why it's all about the red. I'm going to tell you, Mary Magdalene is high vibrant energy in my life right now. She is all out. It's about women, helping women, really helping women, not disparaging, not taking part, part, not faking. I'm going to help one person, but I'm not going to help. all. no, we help all yeah. that are. But the thing is, you only can help the people that want your help. You can't force it. You can't, you know, help people that don't want it. You only when you light, I say to Gina, when she lit her lighthouse, the right people are going to see her magic and everyone that needs to flock to her are going to because she's awesome. And when you light your hot lighthouse, you'll understand that too. And that's what we do. It's not, for, you're not meant for everyone. You're not everyone's cup of tea. Let's say that. But for the ones that you are, how amazing is that? What joy are you bringing to their lives? Okay. And that is Mary Magdalene energy today. The room is red. I specifically did it because I'm all about her energy. And you know what? We'll talk about the red tents as we go on and what they are and what they mean. Gina will actually tag you in one that where we did discuss it in detail. You can go on my page, MJ Bond on Facebook, and you can find that and just hashtag red tent and red Ted sister. And it all it is, it's the bonding, it's the finding, it's the remembering. Look at Gina. I want to say it. I'm going to keep That's why I'm wearing my so carnelian proud. today, that red energy. Look at that. Yeah, it's the red. And look at that. Her energy to make this amazing tea to bless and honor Mary. That's just priceless. I'm sorry. I'm going to keep honoring her. You need, if you haven't bought <laughs> this tea, please reach out. This tea is fabulous. And another thing. The one thing that Mary is really high on and what these red tents are about it's about sisters helping sisters. Support a sister. Don't support her by paying half price or dime or saying, hey, mm -hmm. can I try a little? Support them on their goals. I didn't care that I saw her and I was like, I want it, I don't care. You know why? Because I'm supporting a sister in her dreams and her passion. And I wanna tell you, this tea is amazing. So support a sister. And that's what Mary is about. Yes, thank you. And she wasn't exaggerating when she went, I want that. She really did. <laughs> <laughs> so you could sense it in her post on Facebook when she said that. Yes. So, um, and uh, again, the orange peel, there's also that little bit of a warrior energy in there and transformation. And that is associated with your, the solar plexus ch chakra as well, that energy center in the, the gut, right? So that is, um, that's what I have orange for peel. orange peel. Okay. So orange peel for me is like she said, it's that gut energy because it's masculine, it's fire. It's that are burning inside you. What do you got going on inside of you? All right, it's that, it's kind of like the Aries love Virgo 
energy, that Leo energy. And where are we in Leo energy? All right, it's love, divination, luck, money, strength on your quest, just like Gina said. Okay, this is it. And remember, I'm going to tell you that story again. You can use it as a pendulum when you don't have any. Eat the orange and you count the seeds. The even seeds are a no. The odd seeds are a yes to your question. So if you just want to get an answer, go get an orange, eat it up, count the seeds. And if you have even seeds, even seeds is no, no bueno, stop, go away, don't do it. And yeah. odd seeds are let's go for a baby, you got this, okay? And that's orange for you. And orange, I want to tell you, is a love fruit. It is considered back in the day, I want to go way back they would take the oranges and they would literally because remember we didn't bathe back in those days guys okay and remember right. when they go all that traveling they would take the oranges and kind of cure themselves with orange so they would enjoy the orange it's kind of nasty but i i got where they were going you know what i'm saying now we could use yeah. it in a good sense little orange pineapple in the shower Brrr, let's go baby but you know what i mean <laughs> that's that yep 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 so Wanda is saying, I've got to get this tea. I don't know if you saw the post on Facebook earlier. Um, I did post the, the link. And the, I think I also put the phone number where you can just call in and and, and get it. And but, I think uh, you should do it here at the end. Please stop and take a moment and do it and hi and talk to them. I... Oh, MJ somehow got kicked out. So I'm going to just go ahead and wait for her to come in. Um, but it is it is actually being housed at um, a, a company here that. called. You're back, good. Uh, called Mrs. Mango and Company, and I've been working with them. Or I shouldn't say working with them, but I've known known that company for at least at least eight years, eight or nine or ten years. It's been a while. They were I I, I credit them them and, and God with literally saving my life. So I've, you know, I go there on a regular basis because they house lots of loose, loose leaf individual teas there. So I can go there and just, you know, purchase the, the items I need and I create my blends. So I spoke with, um, with Annika of Mrs. Mango. She's actually the granddaughter of the lady who started Mrs. Mango's 50 years ago. And, um, so I've, I spoke with her and I said, listen, um, it, it, I've created this tea and she she has a book where she keeps all of my recipes written down. So if I call her and say, listen, I need this particular tea made, she has my recipe. And I said, here's here's what I need. Um, I created this blend and I know a bunch of people are going to want it. So can we just um, make it here? I keep a big jar of it. She's like, oh, girl, you can have the entire shelf. You see that shelf right there. We'll move all of this stuff. We'll put all of your tea blends there whenever you're ready. So, so it's, um, there is an, an actual store where, you know, people can go in, but you can also just call and, uh, and, uh, it, it's Mrs. Mango and company. So you can look it up on, um, on the, on the internet. They're like the only Mrs. Mango and company on there. And they're and, old school guys, old school. Yes. So they have a website where you could look, but you can't order to order. You actually have to send them an email, which they reply to. Or yes. call them and Are they you... will also do it. Yeah. Yes. But they do yeah, accept they... PayPal. They do accept all the apps and stuff like that. They just, you just mm -hmm. don't have, they don't have the ability to order online. Yes. They, they do. They, they love speaking to, to their clients. So it, that, and I think that's one of the reasons why there's not a, a link that you can purchase these items because they're very, very person, personable. They're, oh, very, and they're great very... on the phone. Oh yes. my God. So super sweet. All I said was like, hello, I'm calling for Gina. I want Gina. Well, Mary Magdalene tea. And they're like, oh, she just left like five seconds ago. How did you know? I said, I'm psychic. I just need her tea. Thank you. And they're like, how much you want? Oh, let's go. <laughs> yes. So they're very, very nice. Very nice. Um, all right. So bite to the tea. The next, um, the next ingredient is chase berry. And um, it is like, you know, the word chase, C-H-A-S-T-E. And that encourages you to think about the, the beauty of, of surrender. Um, it's all about fertility and womb health. So we know, you know, that area is also important in the Mary Magdalene energy. So that is your, your sacral chakra where the creativity center, that the, the womb area. And that's this particular tea is also associated, this particular ingredient, the chaseberry, 
is also associated with inner child work. And guess what? We did a lot of work on with Mary Magdalene. <laughs> yes. So we also did inner child journey two months before. That yes, was two months before that. So you got hit hard, girl. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> so that that um, ingredient is in here, the chase berry, for that specific reason. But it is associated with the sacral chakra, and you'll notice that um, pretty much all the chakras are covered in this tea blend. All of them. Right. So um, back to you, MJ. Okay, Chase Bear for me was a little what? I did that. I went what? You know why? Because traditionally, this is this tea is is connected with the planet Pluto, and it's a water energy. We got a lot of water here, but tradition believes that this this tea promoted chastity in monks, and they would drink it because they didn't want to have sex. So back in the day, I would say if and. I'm, I'm going to ask a silly question. If you do not want to have sex, if you're like MJ, Gina, you know what, you guys and all your funky town stuff, I don't want to have sex. Screw you guys. Okay. Well, hello to Chastaberry. Chastaberry is a tea to bring down your libido, to mm -hmm. flatten your load. So if somebody's having too much sex and you're like, bro, come over here. I got something for you that's going to stop you. <laughs> but sex is a good thing i'm, I'm just saying but yeah. if it's overwhelmed if you overdrive if you're over sexual if you have a problem seriously if you have a sexual problem and you need to calm down your urge this is the tea for you literally today to today the monks drink this tea so it brings down their urge to have or consummate and have those feelings it's and it's really relaxing for the body so it brings down no, the let, me, let me clarify something real quick mj when she says this tea we're talking about the chase berry specifically because remember the yes. chase berry is in here as part of a blend so yeah, it's, it's different it, yes yes okay. and i want i was gonna go there i have it written down i even wrote something about that because i wanted i had to come back to it okay yeah. so remember so so if you don't want to have sex if you say what crystal can i have so i don't have sex i want you to go get some um get some black obsidian because i want you to know that obsidian is a downer as well if you wear too much obsidian and if you have too much obsidian remember it's a protective stone yeah. but it becomes a downer i mean downer so yeah. i'm saying if that's where you want and that's where you're going in your life that's the crystal for you but you don't want too much of it i'm gonna warn you warning no no mm -hmm. bah, 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 bah. you don't want to do that to yourself but drinking right. a tea to slow it down your urges would help but in this yeah. time and in this blend though this tea helps balance the other ones and actually it neutralizes because the yeah. other ones are aphrodites 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 it's exactly. only too much effort so this one comes in and be like Calm your horses, guys. Yeah. We got this. So let's go. Okay. Exactly. So it's still going, but it's a letter. Calm your horses. Mm -hmm. We got this. That's the energy of this tea. And that's the crystal I have is the obsidian. The yeah. roughness, the stop. It is the wall. It is I'm going down and we're done. So just so you know that. But that's what I this is a tea. I would say go put that in the bottom shelf to the left in the bottom and don't use this too much okay <laughs> yes yeah unless you're a monk or a nun you shouldn't be drinking too much chase berry <laughs> thank you right. or if you're calling in a partner this is the okay. this is the last tea you, alone alone yeah. tea that it's very alone drink. yes yeah <laughs> right right right. <laughs> all right so and again the energy is in here you know you have the the really subdued mary magdalene over here that she can be really nice with, to you um but then on the other end we have this girl you better get your together kind of, mm. kind of thing. Okay. all right so the next ingredient is um is mango and that's actually kind of really special to me and it brought me back to again my childhood because <laughs> my mango it's the that sacral chakra for me right and when i think of mango i think of i, I remember sitting on the beach with a big bucket um of really ripe mangoes i don't do the the green the green mangoes unless we are we got salt and black pepper involved in it but when mangoes are really ripe me and a bunch of friends we go and sit beside the beach and we 
sit there and just eat these ripe mangoes and the juice would just be kind of, you know, dripping down our swimsuit and into the water. And periodically the mango might slip and drop into the water and we pick it up and we continue to eat. <laughs> my sister, my sister, if you don't eat the mango <laughs> dripping on the Wait, she's got it. Okay, she, she'll be back. But yeah, if you have not had that experience sitting at the beach with mango juice just dripping off of you, um, yeah, you're I'm missing down, out. Or just you're missing out if you have never sit, you know, sat on the beach with mango dripping down your, your face. and. Oh my God, yes. It has to drip down. I mean, the juices are so good and you're just like, like yes, yes. yes. So yes, I'm with you, Gina. I'm 100, <laughs> and I still do it to today. I yes. take a mango. Nobody. They cut it up nicely. From my roommate, she has an amazing way. I love you, Allah, because you cut mangoes like I've never seen a cut. She slices and dices, and she gives us these beautiful mangoes. Was she not here? Was she don't know? It? I'm over the sink, like, ah, yeah, yeah, and then just juicing it up, and it's yes. everywhere. And I'm loving yes. it my whole heart. So yes. <laughs> and mango, mango, you know, it's all about seduction. Mango is literally all about seduction and love and lust and empowerment, creativity. Yes. And it's also known to be um a lot of people tend to work with it to because it's said to create long, long-term friendships. And when I think about that, it's like I the friends I sat at the beach with with this bucket of ripe mangoes and just you know chit-chatting, swimming, eating. I'm still friends with them to this day. I and mean, we were talking 40 plus years, right? So I, I'm, I'm guessing that one worked. <laughs> and uh, mango is also all about optimism and about that inner child healing. And it, it, like I said, it's funny. When I thought about mango, I said, I have to put that in here because all of those energies to me, that's Mary Magdalene energy. It working with the inner child, but also that seduction and that lust part of it. Yeah, because yeah. it's a dual <laughs> energy. You're so, it's about... You know what? It's about, let's forget about, let's put labels on this. And I'm just going to say it's the purest divine energy where it's our pure self. We need to get back to that pure self. And that is what is, it, we're sexual creatures. We've just forgotten how sexual and how beautiful we are. We put so many labels and so many things, walls and bricks up that you forget all the beauty you have here and now, but you're too squirreling. I call it squirreling. You're looking left. And, and you forget what's right in front of you. You can enjoy a beautiful mango right in front of you, but you would rather look at someone else eating a mango. Seriously? Yeah. That's what it is. So that is. That was mango for me. Mango for me is prosperity and happiness. It is mm -hmm. juicy sexual energy. Mango is the king of the fruits. It symbolizes life. Seriously. It is over. 4,000 years old. No, nope, actually, it's over 3 million years old. And there is a piece of mango in the museum in Africa that they found fossilized because that is how important a mango is. Okay. In Buddhism, mangoes come to represent faith and prosperity. To this day, mangoes were exchanged for gifts. Mangoes, if you leave hung at the front door, brings in good luck. So take some mangoes. Mm -hmm. See, I am blessed to have a mango tree right outside our door, literal. Um, I live on the, see, we're both for the Caribbean. We mm -hmm. live in Caribbean waters, different islands, but I'm on the island of Puerto Rico. So it is mango season now coming to the end and we're coming into aguacate season. So in front of house, we have a beautiful mango tree that blesses us all and she is gorgeous. So yeah. you, I know yeah. what you, you would come here and we would literally sit on in the Marquesina, um, Marquesina in the porch mm -hmm. and just get the mangoes and sit down and be like eating mango. Breakfast. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I used to do. Just go out, outside in the morning and I just walk around. We had so many different types of mangoes. That was breakfast. And then there was a plum tree. Pick some from there. Then, you know, yeah. So, so many. So for me, for me, mango is citrine. Citrine. Because it is so much abundance and love and happiness. It is citrine. It is, it is one of the richest. It's the king of the fruit, they say, because of the blessings that it gives. That's how I feel about mango. So the next ingredient is lemongrass. And we've talked about this um, in, a, in a couple videos that we've done before. But lemongrass, for me, is, um, is purification. And it also is considered to be helpful in enhancing your psychic 
capabilities. So it's associated with your, your third eye, but it's also associated with your solar plexus because it is very, very beneficial when it comes to your digestive system, right? So in a nutshell, that is, um, that's what, that's the energy, the energy of purification, because that to me is also Mayor Magdalene energy because she does help you to like get rid of your junk, like leave your baggage that you don't need anymore over there and let's move forward. So that's, that's really lemongrass. Mm -hmm. You also See, find lemongrass. Um, let me, lemongrass is used a lot in self-care products. Did you know that if you look really closely at a lot yeah. of the ingredients, they're used a lot in self-care products. So That's the rage now. You're right. You're right. It's everywhere. You're so right. It just hit me and then you go and everything has lemongrass in it. You are so right. Yeah. All right, so okay. I'm to you. okay. I mean, I'm sure on lemongrass, because we talked about it before. Mm -hmm. This is a masculine energy, so it's kind of male energy coming in. That's that yin and yang energy we need because Mary is about them both. All right, mm -hmm. it is associated with the planet Mercury, and this is air element. So, what flows, what flows in your life, and that's what Mary wants you to know with this. It's willingness to be open and to force the open lines of communication. It's spiritual and emotional healing. It's clearing the blockages in your path. That's what lemongrass does for you. So if you burn some, use some oils, this is the, or, or grow some plants actually, all of the above will really help you connect with your true self, okay? So, and for me, lemongrass is, for me, it's because it's so, it has so much of that energy. I don't know why she keeps getting kicked off, but um, she should be back. The energy, the the um, Wi-Fi is a little. Yeah, I see it going in and out. I'm gonna call you amethyst. I'm gonna call you lemongrass amethyst because you have such. It's such a great energy. Is it me? So the next yeah. one is Sh Shadavari, which is. The queen of the herbs. That's what Shadavari is referred to as the queen of the herbs. And it's over 4,000 years old. Um, it's, if you look in the Vedas, which we know are some of the oldest, um, you know, medical, I can use that term, medical books there, the Shadavari is mentioned in there from 4,000 plus years ago. It is, for me, a, a sacral chakra um, herb. And it does balance all of the female hormones. So if you're you know have issues in those depart that department that would be the herb that i that, especially if you're familiar with the ayurvedic tradition that is one that would be that would be um recommended for you to work with for a short period of time because it does help to balance out all of the female hormones um it is also said to help you to rediscover as well as enhance your sexy sparkle so, <laughs> <laughs> so there you have that yin and yang again we had the chase berry which kind of helps you to lower if you've got way too much and if you need a little boost you got the shadavari that helps kind of lift you up so there is that yin and yang that balance in there as well um the name of shadavari in the past has been um she who has hundreds of husbands or uh the cure of a hundred diseases so it has these two names, right? She who has hundreds of husbands, because it is said to actually elevate, um, you know, get you to that place where you attract and pretty much, yeah, you, you know, men would just look at you and just would just be attracted to you, right? <laughs> and then it also is known to be helpful for so many different illnesses. That's why it's so popular in, in the Ayurvedic tradition. So that is Shadavari in a nutshell. Yes. So she didn't tell you, and she should have said it like this. It is the queen of the herbs, especially the love herbs. Yeah. Okay. Because it promotes love and devotion. You want followers? Yes. You want a whole bunch of followers loving on you? Just the Satari, make, make a whole bunch to have a party, get all your sexy get people and be like, <laughs> follow me. I'm the queen. Love me. Anyway, this is used for a thousand over a thousand years as an aphrodisiac. Let's get that orgy on people. Stop. No, seriously. It helps to strengthen you. <laughs> MJ Walker. <laughs> Thank you. 
uh, it helps strengthen you. It's youthfulness. It's memory. Okay, go back. It was the queen of the herbs because not only did it help you with your sexuality, it was. It's like the fountain of youth. It actually helps your skin look beautiful. You look younger, and that's what this is. So this for me was so amazing to find out. So the crystal that I associated with all that and empowered that was kunzite. And kunzite is this beautiful pink stone and it's powerful for love relationships. It's, it's an energy of harmony in love. How does being in love and being harmony in love, where does harmony fit in into your love life? And that's what kunzite is. And that's what this crystal does for you. Not only does it rev you up, but it brings you harmony and youthfulness and play in your love life. And this is an herb that you can work with at all stages of your life. You don't have to be, you know, your 30s, 40s. You could be in your 90s. If you need a little help in those departments, Shadavara is the one herb that they recommend for all stages of life. All. Right. Right. And then, like I said, with that, you can add some shot. And I have two other crystals with this, the shingling that you have that mm -hmm. these also put them by your bed or actually put them in your bed. If you want to get your freak on these crystals, activate the elements. So sneak them in your pillow, do what you mm -hmm. need to do. Yeah, I want my sexy back. You calling it sexy between with this herb and these stones, mm -hmm. you got it going on. We got a thing. Me and Mrs. Jones got a thing going on. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so the next one is butterfly pea flower, which I know we've talked about before because that is um for me is kind of that shape shifting kind of element. And I'm going to show a trick afterwards, um, at the end when we go through all of the ingredients. Now butterfly pea flower is extremely anti inflammatory. It has lots of medicinal benefits. As far as your your um your eyes are concerned, it's very good for the eyes. And if you look at it, it's a purple bluish color. So, you know, you associate that with your with your crown chakra, but also with the, the that blue of the, the third eye, right? So that indigo color. And it, it's also said to be very helpful for blood pressure. Um yeah, I have it here that it's the, the shape shifter, and to me it's associated with kind of like enchantment because of that color change that it goes through um if you're if, if you could almost do like a meditation when you make this tea and i'm going to show you why <laughs> because it does kind of draw you in right it does really draw you in whenever you're um whenever you're you're making the tea and, and when you experiment like i'm going to show you how to in a little bit so butterfly pea flower. And again, I'm going to tag all of the other videos that we've done where we talked about these so we don't go into all of the medicinal benefits here again. All right. Right. For me, it's it's a feminine energy and it's associated with the planet Venus. And once again, another water. You see how? Okay. You see how water flows? Love flows. Are you ready to flow into love? Because it flows. And that's Mary Magdalene. When you love yourself, you open yourself up and you open up your channels for the love of others. But it starts with you. And it, it's, this, is, this for me was love, emotional, and protection. So all, all together, this is just a very positive energy of protection and love. And it's still, it's more on the emotional side. So for me, being emotional, I use Crystal Cola. Crystal Cola is a reminder of staying in your power your empowerment your strength mm -hmm. your knowing who you are and that's what that was for me is knowing your emotions your security and standing in courage so that's what i had for that one so the next one is raspberry leaf now we're talking about the leaf not the actual raspberry fruit. so this is more of a root <laughs> yeah this is more of a root chakra um ingredient and this this is love and it's also fertility and the raspberry leaf has been used in the past for any, you know, for women who were experiencing like men menstrual issues. So you'll see a couple of the ingredients and to um, be associated with that, that sacral chakra area, that womb area, because, you know, a lot of the, the issues that we might have grown up with tend to be stored there 
right? So a lot of the work that we have to do has to be done in that sacral chakra area, right? So you'll see a couple of these ingredients that are based on that sacral chakra. So technically, mm -hmm. Razzaroni could be associated with root chakra as well as, as sacral. So it's um it, it I, I did put down a note here that it was um uh, associated with Venus, you know, all about love and fertility. And we have talked about raspberry leaf in the past, so I'll link videos again so you can mm -hmm. read about the and hear about the medicinal aspects of it. Okay, for me, raspberry, once again, is the feminine energy. You see all this feminine, divine, feminine, divine, feminine. And it's also associated with Venus. She's right on track. Love, love, love. And it is another water element. See, water flows. And you're flowing into it. It's used for protection and love. Okay, so back in the day, they would get branches of raspberry and put them at the door when somebody passed. Because in the passing, once the body, the person, the soul left, they didn't want the soul to come back in and haunt them. So this right. is a protection branches. They would put raspberry at the door and it let them know that they couldn't come back in and it was time for them to leave. So mm -hmm. that is what was used for protection. Now, raspberry has served in the love industry and foods for many time. And back in the day, pregnant women would carry it to alleviate the pain of the pregnancies. They would carry leaves and satchels of raspberry to help them alleviate love and maidens would also carry this beautiful raspberry leaf for its smell to call in love to say hey you i'm ready are you ready yeah so we know that um remember i mentioned earlier that that mayor magdalene was referred to as a doula of death and grief and that sort of thing so you see how the raspberry leaf ties in with that energy of Both mayor of magdalene as well Absolutely. And, so, and the last ingredient, last but by no means least, is the elderberry, which we've talked about extensively in other videos. But for that, uh, that that to me is associated with the third eye as well as the throat chakra, because um, one of the things that I, I ended up having to work on um, was the whole this whole aspect of communication and expressing my my truth and, you know, not shying away from saying what I need to say, because that was, you know, that was one of my issues. <laughs> so that was definitely something that Mary Magdalene actually helped me to work on uh, throughout that month of journeying with her. So elderberry is in there for the, the throat chakra as well as the third eye because it is associated with astral traveling. So it is in there for journeying, journeying, as well as emotional balance and rebirth. You know, you can't go through a journey with Mary Magdalene and expect to come out the same. Not happening. <laughs> So that whole idea of rebirth is also um, tied in with the with the elderberry, and that's why that energy is in this particular blend. Yeah. I love it, and once again, this is the feminine energy. Are we having a theme here? Um, we have very little masculine, but the feminine energy is also water. The water flows in here, but it also has a tendency to add air. So this is the blended combinations of elements. It's associated with the planet Venus again. So there goes that love throat chakra, like Gina said. And it is great for astral traveling, for blessings, for curse removal. Do you want to get rid of a hex or a curse? Elderberry is one of the ingredients you use for that. It's emotional balance, healing. And it, like she said, is the rebirth. So for me, elderberry at this purpose would be ideolite. Ideolite is a third eye crystal to connect you with the divine so you can see, hear, and feel and connect with your clairs. So if you're working on your clair gifts, I want to see something. I want to feel something. I want to know. Ideolite is the crystal you should be wearing. And every once in a while, take it and put it right on your third eye. And you're going to see your tingling. Your spider senses are going to start to tingle because that's what it does. Yes, absolutely. So those are the ingredients. Those are the energetics that went into this particular tea blend. And I wanted to show you the um the whole idea. Now, um, I'm going to go in and I'm going to change the name of this um, particular broadcast because we were supposed to talk about chives, but um, we're not going to do that today. We'll do that on a, the next live stream because otherwise <laughs> we'll be here for, for a while. But I did want you Oops. to... <laughs> we do want to. This is the actual tea without the trick I'm going to show you. So you see that nice, deep, rich, almost magenta purple, a uh, very royal. But um, the whole idea of the the shape shifting element that I mentioned earlier, 
if you get yourself some, now you don't have to drink this hot all the time. You can make a lemonade out of this. So if you get yourself some lemon juice, and I should have bought a, um, a spoon. Kehlani, can you grab me a spoon, please, baby? What you do is you take your, take the tea that you've made, some lemon juice, and when you put the lemon juice in, remember I talked about that chemistry? You see what's happening? It actually changes from a purple color to like a pink color. So I there's love that. that. That's that shape shifting element, that energy of Mary Magdalene that I kind of wanted to embody in this tea. So the, the lemon, I didn't put in the lemon peels, but I did want to show you that if you wanted to add some, you know, some pieces of lemon to it, this is that magic that's going to happen right before your eyes. So it come, it changes from that deep, that deep, rich purple, which is the symbolic, the royal royalty, because I do I, I do hold her in that regard. But also that that ability to kind of, you know, well, for me, what she did, she went from this sweet person periodically to this slap you around a little bit kind of energy. Wait, wait. But she gave year. you a rose. Every yes. Month, and I did get week. a rose. Yes. She so she's, she's very, it's very sweet, very sweet energy. But I so I'm I'm. I'm glad this tea, you know, kind of embodies everything that I, you know, experience with her. So, and I'm glad you like it. I'm really glad you like it because, um, yes, I love it. It amazing. really tastes amazing, guys. Like I finished it up and I want more already. And I'm like, wow, that tea was good because that is so good. And when you um, the with the with the mango, the mango's in there. It's a natural sweetener as well. And then when you add the lemon juice, it gives that bit of a tang to it as well. So there's, again, those um, kind of um, yin-yang energies right there. Okay. So. so that's the tea for today. I'm super excited. I would, I, I, I asked you, I'm going to be the big cheerleader again. If you feel <laughs> called, this tea is absolutely amazing. And it's made with so much love by this beautiful woman on the screen next Thank to you. me. And... I say you should have some. It is so good. When I tell you so good, so good. You're going to truly love it. So you can see. And, and it is sold like this. Um, but if you if you do prefer to have it have it done in tea bags, just, you know, send me a message because that option is there. Um, I know a lot of people, the, they like to be able to have their little bags and just pop They it did in. ask me, though. They did ask me if I wanted them in tea bags. So they did. Yes. They did ask. So when you want, yes. you can also ask and they'll put them in a tea bag for you so you don't have to, you know, do it yourself. But I got, I'm going to show you. I'm going to be bougie. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> so I got my little elephant dude. Uh -huh. and, it's, and it holds my tea in there. It holds the herbs in there. And then that way he comes in. See, and Gina got yes. hers. And I've got this one here as well. So this is a little, it's a little um, screen. It's very, very fine. And I just mm -hmm. put the, the tea in and then this just pops right on. Right. See, and the same thing here. These is where you put clothes in and you put your herbs in there and you're good to go. Yeah, so, so you can do it either that way. way as well. And, and you buy those off of Amazon. Very, very Yeah, and they're really cheap. So you yes, decide yes. which way you so want So thank go. you, MJ, for allowing me to talk about my tea. I'm excited. I'm, I'm and so that's proud just, of you. That is just the first of many more to come because I'm working on some oh things right God. now. Okay, and I'm just going to say this, guys, and I just want to put this out there, a little subliminal message here. Tea is a really great gift. Teas, birthdays, teas for Christmas, teas for holidays. You know, giving someone beautiful herbs is just amazing. So I want you to know that spare the love because this is such amazing tea and people deserve to drink it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you for everyone who, who came thank to you the guys. live stream. Appreciate um, you. Appreciate you. All right. Thank you again, bye -bye. MJ. Take Bye. care. Thank you, Gina. Have a great day, Thank guys. You.